Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we'll take a look at how we can root the latest version of this phone, the Xiaomi Mi Max 3 that comes with Android 10 as well as Mi UI version 11. Stay tuned. Perhaps before I tell you more about how you can root the device, let me explain to you why you want to root it. Uh, by rooting it, it simply means that you are uh, gaining absolute control over the operating system, over the Android. And with that, it gives you a lot of options. The two main benefits will be uh, the ability to customize the already very customizable Android. Uh, the second reason is you want to install certain mob application into the phone. Uh, without rooting it, you can't. And one of the very popular applications that a lot of people install is actually the Google camera. Uh, in short, we call the G-Cam. Because with the G-Cam, it will give you excellent photo computation, uh, which means that the... Uh, the photo that you take will improve in quality exponentially. Uh, so without further delay, let's take a look at how we can root the device. Well, before we can root the phone, we need to set up the phone as well as the computer that you're using to root it. Uh, first of all, you need to make sure that the phone comes with an unlock boot loader. To my knowledge, all the Xiaomi Mi Max 3 phone should come with an unlock boot loader. Uh, but to just to make sure, Turn off the phone and then turn it back on. Alright. Uh, upon boot out, you should see that unlock right at the bottom, which means that the phone, the bootloader is already unlocked. You're good to go. What is a bootloader? A bootloader is a small piece of software that will run just before the Android OS is being executed. Okay. Next, we need to make sure that the phone uh, developer mode is being enabled. How can you do that? Go to settings, go to about phone. All right, under me UI version, you just have to click this for seven times. Once you've done that, you will say it's developer mode are being turned on. Where is the developer mode? Just go out from to the settings menu right at the bottom. You should see additional settings. Within additional settings at the bottom, there will be something called developer options. Click on it and make sure that it's been turned on. Next, we need to turn three other things on. One is the OEM, OEM unlocking. Make sure this is on. Make sure that uh, USB debugging is turned on as well as install bar USB is turned on. So next, you just have to install the USB Android driver either to your Windows or Mac. I'll leave the installation source at the description box below. So let me show you. So you just have to install this and you're all set to start rooting. So the next step is to install and run a custom bootloader called TWRP. In order to do so, you first have to turn off your phone, turn it back on into the fast boot mode. How can you do that? Make sure you press down the volume down button together with the on button together. Press it until the screen turn on, all right? And then you should be able to see a fast boot. Okay, connect your phone, which is still in the fast boot mode via a USB-C cable to the computer. Run terminal. Okay. Uh, if you are using Windows, you should be running command prompt. In my case, I'm using Mac, so I'll be running terminal. So, this software terminal. Okay. And the other window shows where I have downloaded the SDK platform tools. Within it is the bootloader image called twrp.img. This guy here, all right? So let's go back to the terminal window. You have to go back to your root folder, execute the command cd uh, dot, I believe it's a uh, bats, uh, I believe it's cd slash dot. Once you're done with that, you have to change to this folder where the image as well as the platform tools is located. You simply just have to drag this into the terminal window, press enter. 
Okay, we have just changed the uh, folder to this folder, okay, where the SDK platform tools is. So now it's time for you to execute uh, two commands. Uh, one is to flash the bootloader image to the phone. This is this will be the command. Fast boot flash recovery and then the image file twrp.image. Okay, let me just show you what will happen once I execute this command. Okay, it says done. Okay, done. Okay, if you follow the guide online, at this moment they will ask you to is execute a command to restart the phone and to see the phone boot into successfully boot into the TWRP bootloader. However, wherever I tried it always fails, no matter what. And I realized it that the Xiaomi had, had put a code within the phone hardware wire into the phone that whenever it detects that the bootloader has been changed, it will revert back to the original bootloader. Uh, I figure there's one way to bypass this that is do not restart your phone now just execute this command right away it's called dot backslash fastboot boot to twrp.image so once you execute this the phone should restart and then you will go and load the twrp bootloader straight away so as you can see this is the custom bootloader which is loading right now at the current moment so now we are at the final steps of rooting the Android phone uh, with the bootloader loaded out. Just press install and then point to where you have previously downloaded the custom firmware called Magis. Pardon me, I forgot to show you that you should uh, install and install this uh, into your SD card beforehand. Do not worry, I will also leave the this installation source at the description box below. So simply click select storage, go to where you have installed the file. I put it under micro SD card in this following location. Uh, the Magis installation source should be in the format of a zip file. The beauty of using this way of rooting your Android phone is that it is not changing any part of your Android OS itself. As a matter of fact, the Android OS stays 100% intact and this Magis uh, custom firmware resides in another partition which is uh, other than where the Android system is. And the building of doing so is that uh, in the in the perspective of Google or Play Store, they will not know that you have modified their OS at all and therefore all the software should still run uh, as per normal. So click on the Magis zip file. Okay, it says reboot after the installation complete. It's fine. Swipe to finish. So you just swipe it and then the installation should take place. Okay, the routing process should not take more than two minutes. Once that's done, boot up the phone. You just have to install two applications. One is called the Magis Manager. You just have to go to magis.me backslash apk. Install the Magis Manager. Go to Play Store and install something called the Root Checker. Okay, once that's done, run the Magis Manager. Right, uh, it should say two things. It should say that Magis is up to date. Magis is the uh, is the custom firmware that we install in a secondary partition. The Magis Manager is this software itself. If you can see this, changes are you have successfully root the phone. But just to make sure, run the root checker. Click verify root. If it says congratulations, well done, you have successfully root your phone. So that's it, that's the end of the video. If you like my video, please give me some encouragement by giving me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this where I either review, fine tune or uh, talk about amazing products, especially from China, please subscribe. Until next time, this is Daniel signing out. Goodbye everyone!